If you upgraded your Google Workspace domain, there's one very important thing you need to do before your users can take advantage of all the upgrades. Hi, my name is John Sawash and welcome back to the Google Admin Bootcamp. Today, we're gonna to be looking at assigning and managing licenses through the Google Admin console. Now, a couple years ago, Google introduced the upgraded Google Workspace tier. So everybody has the free kind of fundamentals version, but then you have the opportunity to un upgrade to the teaching and learning package uh, or education plus. For some of these different license tiers, you actually need to select the user user who will receive those upgraded. The, the one in particular you need to be careful of is the teaching and learning upgrade. That allows you to select the specific teachers who need the upgraded uh, features of Google Meet and Google Classroom. Managing licenses is pretty straightforward if you know where to look. There's actually three different places that you can go to manage your licenses. We'll take a look at each of them. Um, the first place you can go, and when you log into the admin console, you'll probably see this uh, right off the bat, is this billing section. Um, and if you just click on uh, that billing managed subscriptions, you can see what licenses are available. Now, everybody should see this Google Workspace fundamentals. That's the free version. Everybody will have that. If you have Chromebooks, you'll see the Chrome um, upgrade as well. But it's these right here that must be assigned. Now, I'm using a, an old legacy version of Google Workspace. They don't even offer this one anymore. Some of you may be on this one. You might see Teaching and Learning. You might see Education Plus. There's, there's lots of different options. But the really key thing you need to look at is this right here. So this particular license that I have, um, you know, I have 12 teacher licenses and 21 student licenses. And I need to make sure that those are given to the appropriate people. And you can see that um, I have six licenses available for my teacher. So that's what we're going to look at is how do we assign those licenses uh, to the correct people. I'm going to go ahead and click on um, the first way we can do this is I'm going to just click on six assigned. That's going to take me into my user directory and it's going to show me who currently has one of those six licenses. And so you can actually see this is just a filter um, where we can say, you know, show me everyone who has this particular license. And this would also work for other licenses such as uh, Google Voice if you purchased uh, the Google Voice upgrade. So these are the six uh, teachers that have a license. Now, if I want to assign a license to a new person, uh, there's a couple different ways that we can uh, do that. I'm going to clear that filter, search for a particular person, um, do this person here. There's Polly, select her name, and then here's my assign license button. This is okay for one-off licenses, but you're certainly not going to assign this to, you know, 50 people manually. That, that would take uh, quite a while. Um, the second way that you can assign licenses is by selecting an organizational unit, and then just everybody inside of that OU automatically receives a license. This is the easiest way to manage licenses for students. And if you've purchased a license for every teacher in your school, um, it's an easy way to manage that as well. I'm going to go back to the home screen, and we're going to go back to our billing. We'll say manage subscriptions. And this time I'm going to click on the actual name of the license. We're going to work with our teachers first. So I'm going to click right here in Google Workspace Education Plus. And this is the licensing page. So again, you can assign licenses to an individual person or you can set up um, auto license assigning. So right here, manage license settings. And this allows me to select an organizational unit. So if all of my teachers are in my staff OU, I can select the teacher OU, select the auto assign, and it will automatically apply a license to anyone who is added to that organizational unit. If you're going ahead again and, and purchasing a license for all of your teachers or all of your students, this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. So just make sure you select the appropriate one. You may need to adjust your organizational units. You know, perhaps you have instructional staff and then like front office staff. Maybe the front office staff don't need um, an upgrade. They're not teaching remotely. They're not using the premium features of Google Meet. So you can select your teacher teaching staff versus your front office staff um, if you have those OUs um, assigned correctly.
Now, the third way that you can assign licenses is a little more complex, and that is to use the Google Cloud Directory Sync. If you're syncing your users from something like Active Directory, it is possible to assign those licenses when they go from Active Directory into Google. Is part of the setup process, there's a, uh, an attribute when you're setting up your sync that says license assignments. And you're able to configure that so that as users get synced based on their role, um, what organizational unit they're in, Google will apply those licenses when they come over. I don't have uh, directory sync set up um, for this domain, um, but I'll link to detailed instructions on how to set that up in the uh, description for this video. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is how to remove a license. If you have a teacher who was quarantined and teaching online, but they're back in the classroom, they no longer need a license, you can remove it and then give that license to someone else who does need it. Uh, the easiest way to do that is, again, to go back to our billing page. We'll select uh, Manage Subscriptions. We're going to go to our licenses. You can see six assigned. Here are the people who currently have the license. Simply select their name, and then you're going to remove that license from that individual. Um, it's important to note that you can't uh, transfer a license from one person to another. You have to remove it. That'll free up a license, and then you can assign it uh, to someone who needs it. Hopefully that'll help you make sure you're taking advantage of the upgrades to your Google Workspace domain. If you are interested in more Google admin tips, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting updates on how to manage your users, devices, and Chromebooks on a regular basis.